Hello, my name is Chris, and today I'm going to show you how to install Scripted on Umbrella OS. So, uh, this was a video suggested by a viewer. So, um, uh, a little bit about this series is I'm going over home labs, going over installing things, getting things ready, everything like that. So, if you like that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna go over the Docker Compose that we'll be using for the scripted installation. So we're gonna be using 3.5 of Docker Compose. We're gonna be starting up some services. One's called scripted, and then we're gonna get it from Docker Hub, so scripted. And then uh, we're gonna set some environment variables. I would recommend changing this to a random string. Uh, so you can start up NVIDIA support. Uh, Container name is going to be scripted or restart unless stopped. That means that if it's stopped for any reason on your end, it will not try to restart. But if it fails for any reason, it will try to restart. Network mode is host. So uh, volumes, data, scripted, and then underscore data it, it is on the host side. And then in the container side is server volume and then desync back and forth. Logging noise to keep down the JSON file for logs and then labels right here This is going to be for, for watchtower And then we're going to start up watchtower this this automatically updates uh, the uh, docker file if uh, If there is an update pushed and Then environment variables for watchtower image is off docker hub container watchtower and then container name is gonna be scripted watchtower Restart unless stopped volumes is gonna be doc, doc docker dot sock and then sync back and forth they labels for scripted and Then the ports open is 10444 and then 8080 and then check for updates uh, this is gonna be the command that runs uh, the Watchtower. So that's how the scripted Docker Compose runs. So I'm going to start with a install of Umbrel and I'm going to have Portainer on it. Uh, I, I did do a video on installing Portainer on Umbrel, so you can go check that out and then come back. So I'm going to go into my, my Portainer right here. I'm going to go to local. Then I'm going to go to stacks. And then I'm going to go ahead and go up to add stack right here. And the uh, stacks are just Docker Compose in the background. So I'm going to go ahead and do scripted uh, stack. Now I'm going to paste what I have uh, over in the gist. And the gist will be down in the description so you can get to it and copy and paste it yourself. So now I'm going to go ahead and deploy the stack down here. So I did pause it while it was downloading the Docker Hub cont containers. I let it deploy and it deployed successfully and it brought me back to stacks. So I'm going to go in here and you can see that uh, both the stacks are running. So scripted watchtower is running and scripted. So I'm going to go over to my, um, my umbrella. And I'm going to go over to the IP address up here. I'm going to go to 10.443. And then I'm going to press enter return to go to it. You're going to see it didn't send any data. Because this actually needs HTTPS on the end. So I'm going to say advanced proceed because it's self-signed certificate. And now you can create your scripted account. So now, uh, we have it running on our Umbrella installation in our portainer. So I'm going to go here and just type in a username and password just to create my scripted account. Okay, now I'm going to say login right here. And you can see that I did create the account, so you can go to the management, and you can see the devices, the plugins. You can install a plugin like Ring, and then it's installed. So that's how to get scripted running on Umbrella OS. 
So I just showed you how to install Scripted on Umbrella OS using Portainer Stacks, which is Docker Compose underneath. And uh, so if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need support, you can come to the Big Bear community and join our Discord. And stay tuned for more.